Hi, today we're going to try uh, re-gluing, i.e. Uh, fixing the headlining, which is a uh, common failing of a lot of cars. Uh, it happens with age, so you see this headlining has uh, become detached all the way across the roof. And it's basically due to the foam covering of the headlining, you can see here, that deteriorates over age and detaches from the main solid part of the headlining which uh, is still left in place. This is just the material detaching. Uh, what I'm gonna try and do is rather than remove the whole thing, just gonna sufficiently drop down the material, take a few of those press studs off. I think there's two in the middle there. They just pull off, drop it down, and then try and spray uh, the headlining and spray the roof, allow it to dry, and then press the two together and hopefully uh, get the two to stay where they are. Uh, if you can't be bothered doing that, a uh, bit of a cheat way of pushing up the headlining is just to put some extra studs on it. So these little studs here are the sort of little plastic clips that often you get left over from assembling flat packed uh, kitchen units or wardrobe units. They used to cover the uh, screws and so on. See here on this car, I've just put a few extra ones on in, additional, in addition to the two proper ones that are in the middle. There's what, one, two at the front and a few at the back. Doesn't look too bad, but it's a much quicker way of doing it. If you're going to go down the proper route of uh, refixing, re-gluing the headlining, you want some of this stuff, uh, trim fix adhesive, which is actually, as it says, for vehicle interior trims, headlinings and carpets. Uh, the idea of this stuff is it doesn't uh, soak into the headlining and make too much of a mess. Uh, in reality, if you put too much of it on, I've seen that it can soak in, uh, very sticky. Probably the trick is to but a fairly fine but consistent coat over the whole lining, uh, both sides allow it to dry, to become tacky, and then push the two together. Uh, if you put on too thick a coat, uh, and then particularly uh, push it together too quickly, obviously because it's still very liquid, it'll then uh, penetrate the material. So that's the backdrop down. Ideally, really want to take off all of the fittings. So all these handles, the trim just pulls off. This fitting here, fitting handles, so we can detach the whole thing. Um, we're going to try and do a bit of a quicker job just by dropping it down at the back, which is where the worst of this uh, headlining has failed. Try and get in with some uh, spraying and uh, see if that fixes the worst of it. And maybe uh, put a few clips on in other places where uh, it doesn't work. So these are the caps you could use, so the caps that are meant to go onto screw heads. And so if you screw it into your headlining first, push up the liner, and that cap will just push on on top of the screw like that. And to make sure it stays, you could dab a little bit of sealant, like silicon sealant on it or something. That basically just covers the screw. Uh, you could also paint that cap to match the headlining colour. So that's a sort of cheating way of doing it. Alright, well this is our attempt at trying to spray the top and the bottom. Bit of a tricky job. What may well happen is that the glue just sticks to the rather rotten foam and then pulls off again. We'll have to see. So some sort of gas mask is recommended. Pretty nice and fumes coming out of it. And we will tend to get everywhere if you've got the sides of the headlining open. We haven't on this one, just the back pull down. Using uh, the cardboard there to protect the insides of the car. So uh, they say the adhesive, uh, well, basically you leave until it's touched dry. Uh, I'm probably going to leave it five or ten minutes. And then start off by putting the original uh, roof plugs back in again. So those holes need to line up. Don't want that to be in a different position. And then uh, probably start from the front in the middle, push it up, working your way towards the back. Very gently push the lining. You don't want to push too hard so any the liquid glue still comes through. Just move your hands gently over it, trying to 
remove the creases out of it, like so. Uh, let's just stuck back in. A bit of a mixed success, a bit more successful at the front where there's probably more glue uh, than the back where it's a little bit uh, creasy, but it's stuck up more than what it was. Uh, not too creasy looking, but at least it is higher and it's not dragging down over the head of the passengers. So hopefully you can learn a few lessons from that, maybe put some use some more glue. The biggest problem is that uh, you're trying to stick onto old bits of foam that's very crumbly. So the glue may just stick on the foam and then uh, fall off, of course. Really, the whole roof lining needs pulling out and the foam scraping off so they can get a good uh, glue hold. But that is um, a much bigger job. Uh, if you do have a go at doing that, make your own YouTube video. So this roof could probably do with a couple of the clips, like, like these original ones. If you had a couple of clips in the corners, that would tighten up the whole roof. Probably wouldn't look too bad. Uh, so basically just screw in through the material with a small screw into the headlining material behind it. Put a cap on it to cover up the screw head. Um, so that is a, an option as well. Now uh, we do it, so we get the smallest screw possible like that. So head to your thumb, uh, about half the width of your uh, thumbnail. And these sort of caps, uh, a bit of contact adhesive. And you can see here we need bit more tightening and that just matches up with the ultrasonic sensor at the other side so it's fine for a position so just work out where you're going to put it uh, I think about there and then we push the screw into the board that's behind the headline has become detached turning at the same time some glue and then we put a dab of the contact adhesive on the cap a little bit on the screw contact adhesive is going off a little bit so it's a little bit too dry but that'll be fine let it dry for a minute or two and push it into place the plastic cap stays on the screw head without glue but the glue just makes sure that it's uh, doubly fixed and won't loose and then we just have to color the cap so that's the right uh, color to match the headlining so this is a grey headlining, uh, that cap is beige or something, uh, these ones have been painted, uh, yeah. yeah, so they match a lot better. I uh, found a grey primer, this part of grey primer is quite good. So I just need to be quite careful painting that so you don't get the paint on the headlining. And there we go, that's much better matched in. So that's the overall result with the headlining pinned back into place. A lot better than what it was. No real noticeable droopy sags. I think it looks better probably in the flesh than it does in the photo. Certainly good enough. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.